All right, this is Steve at the Thorny Turtle Ranch. I just did a video, did a video about my glaucoma. This Thorny Turtle Ranch, uh, originally it was going to be building the Thorny Turtle Ranch, but my eyesight's taking a crash. And I guess I'm going to still try to build the Thorny Turtle Ranch. You know, mentally it's been a challenge this year dealing with this eyesight thing. Of course, the eyesight itself's been a challenge. I might still be able to build it. It's going to take. It's going to be a little bit more difficult. But if I don't do it now, you know, it's only going to get worse, right? So we'll see what I could do on that. Um, turtles. I'm going to put out all my information on alligator snapper turtles because. I've studied alligator snapper turtles since I was about 16, so I'm 51. And in in the years where I really intensely studied the alligator snapper turtle, I learned quite a bit. And I think I learned some things that other people don't know. And of course, other people that study alligator snapper turtles have learned things that I don't know. Um, and I, I want to thank Greg Brashear for kind of inspiring me. He has uh, really done some things with alligator snapper turtle that, that nobody else has done. That guy can go out to a creek and he can find them in a heartbeat. Boom. Easy. Now, of course, the water might need to be a little bit clear. And, uh, but he, he can go and he can, he can find them. He can see them. He can see juveniles. Uh, you know, I kind of wish I had tried that. I kind of wish I would tried to go where he went when I was over in that area before, but I, I didn't. And I kind of always thought they might be there, but then there was this whole thing about the fall line, a geographical variation in the landscape and how certain animals weren't past the fall line, you know, but that was just somebody, uh, somebody's myth that they thought and uh, it just wasn't, wasn't real. So what am I going to do with the channel? Um, I may spend a good amount of time at the Thorny Turtle Ranch this spring and try to get that going. I've got also... A lot of work I need to do on this eye device uh, to save my own eyesight and also to save the world. It will literally totally save the world's eyesight. Uh, no joke. I had it for three years and it was absolutely perfect until I bumped it. And then through a series of events, I lost pretty much a bunch of, eye, a bunch of vision this year, um, the last few months. It's not from the eye device. It's from some things. The antibiotic problem I had with the contact bandage lens. I got a piece of uh, pressure treated wood stuck in my eye for a long time. Not a splinter, but a shaving up in my eye muscle stuck up, up there for hours. And that it was wet with the chemical and it just destroyed, just destroyed my eye. And I went blind for two days, like totally no light blind for two days. And uh, what else? Um... So that's what's going on uh, with, I learned a lot about the, the universe. God, I, I, it's kind of like I want to say some things, but it's kind of like some people think you're crazy. I guess most people believe in aliens and whatnot. There's um, tons of civilizations out there and there's very interesting stories. Eyes on Cinema. Look at Eyes on Cinema. Look at all those videos. And then look at the one called One Hell of a Cosmic Story. Oh my God, that'll blow your mind. And there's videos and, and pictures to prove what that story is all about. So once you see the old videos from the 70s and 80s, it's like videos couldn't be faked very easily back then. So then you realize the story is real. And then there's that whole thing about Bigfoot. People laugh. I've got at least two people I know that just totally, they, they should be open-minded, but they're not. And then, uh, and then if you realize, oh my God, they really are. That Patterson film, that was a female Sasquatch with a quadricep injury to her leg. And then there's something else really crazy I learned about Sasquatch lately. If you watch the McMaster University discussion by Ontario Sasquatch Mike, or I don't know his last name, oh my God, that'll totally blow your mind as well. He learned some things about him that uh, is just absolutely incredible. Um, I, I might have had one in the back of my property when I borrowed a, or rented an excavator. Uh, about four years ago and cleared a little chunk of my property. 4 a.m. in the morning, I heard some hollering, screaming that uh, wasn't, uh, it wasn't a person and it wasn't a cat and it wasn't a pig. And I don't know what it was. It might have been a Sasquatch, but they're everywhere. I mean, they are literally everywhere. I've got two friends that have had encounters and one friend that had an encounter. His brothers had five encounters. If you look at the Christmas Minnesota video, that's authentic. If you look at the video where the 
the, the, the Sasquatches behind the boulders with an offspring. That's authentic. If you look at the Blue Mountains, the guy from the 80s that surprised him, he filmed a couple in the Blue Mountains at like 10 a.m. one morning coming from a spring. They would always go drink at a spring. They're everywhere. But if you learn about them, it just will blow your mind. And you got to really, mainly that McMaster, that McMaster University. That will, if you already know they exist, then watch that. If you don't already know they exist, you can see them. Todd Standings filmed their faces perfectly and uh, filmed one running up a mountain. I haven't seen one, but I did see a Puma Cougar mountain lion in Louisiana in Bienville Parish in 2013. Did a video on that. Well, I've had tracks at my property. I filmed tracks. I'll put those online on this channel. I'll put them online when I get things more built at my property and uh, get more videos of things going on at the property. But uh, I, talked to, uh, I talked to Rusty Reed today. I talked to the turtle farmer in Arkansas. I talked to Greg Brashear today. So they've inspired me just by me talking to them. They haven't said anything to me, but it's just me talking to them has inspired me. I'm going to do a, I'm going to try to open up another YouTube channel on the alligator snapping turtle. And then just have it be everything alligator snapping turtle. But subscribe, comment, and uh, appreciate. I got 400 something subscribers out there in the real world. So thank you. And I uh, imagine some might be from my former employer. Some of it might be uh, uh, subscriptions to just check in on you know who I am and what I'm all about. Some of it might be just because whatever reason, I don't know. But say hello. Talk to you later. Be good. Be safe. Stay COVID free. Stay healthy. Be good to others. And love is why we're here on earth and to grow and experience. And we're all part of God. And uh, we're all one in that sense, living a little bit of an individual existence. And so make the best of it. Be kind. Be good. Do good.